<laughs> I think I took an arrow to the knee. Is that joke old? Invincible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. All right, guys. This is Doc M. Another Minecraft video. You heard it. And today, this is the episode after the mine. Con. Oh yeah guys, I'm back home and I'm pretty sure you can hear it in my voice, I'm destroyed. <laughs> Man this event, it was amazing, check out the vlogs and stuff I did put out so we get a little glimpse of it, um, what went down, um, storytelling time soonish guys, today I want to focus on the Minecraft again in the next uh, Minecraft episode. I wanted to do that uh, hopefully with Avidia because yeah he was not there with us so he can catch up a bit. I will tell you some of the stories but also today ever so often <laughs> yeah that will give me weeks and weeks and weeks of storytelling. I tell you guys it was just amazing. Um, before I left to Minecon though I was working a lot here because I was in total Minecraft mania. Um, Mostly caving around here and also finished my witch farm design and um, with the shifting floors I was talking about last time. While I was gone, um, I saw people are starting to slowly but surely appreciate the effects of a witch farm and I see more and more witch farm projects started all over the place, um, which I really like. I think it's a good idea. Um, also, the guy of JL Server uh, are planning to work with that design and yeah, there's some good, good working designs out there already that encourages me a lot. So let's go back there. Wait, I need to quickly make me some torches. I'm out of torches um, from the caving at the moment. <coughs> need to have a lot anyways. I need to go caving again. <laughs> my, my voice is done. I'm, I think you can hear it. It's, uh, deeper as usual and yeah here we go let's switch off the clock here for a second um, alright so this is the lower platform I've completely wired that up and last time yeah torches I said so I can see it better last time the big question was I needed to get the power here upstairs to the next pistons and we managed to do that now. Let me use this end ball. Oh no, it didn't work to get in there. Well, well, then half slap and end pearl. Ha rup. No! Oh. <laughs> oh no, now we got a witch in there. Great, what? It also it spawned spawned even. Oh, that's pretty impressive. It spawned even out perfect light situation so that really tells us the cave situation is getting better let's get the switch out of our world torch pops off and try again man oh no oh, just throw a dang ender pearl in there there we go <laughs> hooray okay guys so you can see it up here I come up with the half slabs and then I have this the redstone here on top a nice trick to make it even more efficient would be just to raise the whole construction by one block I um, should have thought about that in the beginning then I could spare here uh, spare to block these air blocks here but uh, it's now I'm not gonna move it up again but keep in mind if you do that um, if you build one of these designs with the shifting floors put your floor one block higher than I do so you can make it even more efficient but like this it's still pretty cool and wanted to um, yeah, improve the situation here I have a better clock and I need to make me some better tools you see all my tools are almost used up and the epic is beyond repair because I already repaired it once so it's gonna be gone those uh, diamond pickaxes are actually the best ones if you have um, pickaxes with two enchantments um, you can pretty much repair them um, as often as you want 
<coughs> or not as often as we want, but for a way longer time. So that is the new clock here. It is a talkable clock. On top here, there's the lever, and we can switch the clock on and off. You can see that here is the piston that will come out and activate the clock. And here we have the delay. At the moment, um, yeah, you can count the, uh, the um, repeaters if you want. That's how far, how much we got, but I want more in there because <laughs> because um, yeah, I wanna have the uh, floors staying like in um, in a locked spot a bit longer, so we got more spawning time. Because in the time or at the time the floors are shifting, we cannot um, yeah have spawning in the in the farm and uh, we want spawning in the farm so when we attack um, activate the shifting floors the thing will break out the torch so that's all right let me quickly fix that okay let's turn on the motor again let's look at the interval i mean um, let's count how long it is one two three four five six yeah every five six sevens or so <coughs> 10 to 15 seconds is easily good enough you could also think uh, about using trip wire and obviously the torch here on top did just break off <laughs> all right that's it I think the shifting floor designs work now and they are caving guys. <laughs> you can see it here with the beacon. We are getting bigger and bigger and you see the witch spawning already works okay-ish. We just walked away and already two more. Um, right now I'm cooking a bit of smooth stone because I wanted to make me more repeaters to yeah lengthen the delay back there. Let's have a quick look at the resources up there. Yeah, <laughs> ran quite some dungeons down there, at least three, four or five more. There's two repeaters, that is good. Redstone torches a bunch, it's also good. Found records here, this is the iron and gold I have, um, 48 ingots. Still need to cook up the rest of the things I have here. Um, but yeah, before I go to the next caving session, <coughs> excuse me guys, <laughs> I need to, yeah, the spawn rates are picking up you see that another five came through I definitely um, need to go um, make me new tools real quick do some enchanting and so on but that is a small job and um, what I also did in here I have this quick drop so and yeah here we can see the drop the drops so let's put them away let's see more sticks spider eyes whoops Gunpowder, redstone, bottles, and uh, zombie meat here from somewhere else. And oh yeah, I haven't showed you the killing mechanism at all. Um, I should... I got ice here on the floors and I want to make me an ice machine uh, soon or today. Could actually do that as a quick project. Co so a s very cool prototype by Panda in his Let's Play, which I highly recommend by the way. Very good. Just saying. Um, back here now, <coughs> we got a drop collection. I think I will just put down a half slab right here. So we can stand there a bit and look at the situation. So, trapdoors here. And those trapdoors are on upside down half slabs. You can see how they're free floating. That is pretty difficult to achieve. Um, you must use pish pistons and push them up in the right position because you want them to be free floating like that. You see that gap here? So half slap on top, free floating. Put the trap to one block <laughs> below. Yeah, and you see what it does. And push them up. Um, I, um, I talked with JL about uh, the system and the problems it has because you, before you were able to put those yeah, trap those down just like that. In 1.4.5, they fixed that. 
So you have to do it a bit more complicated now, but yeah, <coughs> JL is probably going to do a tutorial about one of these designs anytime soon. Um, how it works, you got the trip wire up there and you can see how we come down there, half slap, half slap, trip wire connects to this row and it's perfectly timed whenever a witch falls through this trap door here or through this trip wire here. It activates the system, trapdoors go down, which lands on the trapdoors and their loot is getting collected. Why we do it so complicated? Well, you can no longer drop them onto fence posts or whatever, which just won't die from that. But yeah, with that system, as you just saw, it works again. Um, on top, I have my water stream system. I don't think I have um fully shown the system yet so let's have another quick look wait let me let me store these things away do you still have sticks on me no here it is <laughs> okay let's get up below that's the really cool thing about the witch farm as it is seven by nine the nine long area you can perfectly use for water stream and flush them down, which is just just nice. You don't have to use signs or anything. And then you saw I have this one wide shaft where I drop them down and below I have the trapdoor loot collection system, which then drops the loot on the ice tray already or on the ice walkway there. And yeah. Is there a lighting bug now here? Where does the light come from? It should not it should be dark. Right? Is the torch still up there? No. It should be gone. That's weird. Yeah, that's officially a lighting glitch here, I think. Where does the light shine through? Cannot be. Yeah. So um let's have a quick look inside the contraption. Um, down, so we see better. Here we go. Uh, maybe I put a torch in here. <coughs> There's that button where I can um, reset the shifting floors. This is where the whole machine is connected to. Let me quickly turn down sound while we are standing here so the pistons are not that loud. And then I have a one two block gap, wood buttons and the vines to reset their fall height and from below the vines it's a 40 block drop onto our automated piston catcher or trapdoor catcher system. <coughs> Excuse me. And that does the killing for us. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the system and yeah, you can see it here. The water is just flowing out nicely until the edge here and then we have to drop. So that works just fine. Just fine. And I'm really happy how it turned out now in the moment it all comes together and totally makes sense which is always nice and now I think I must look out for a second and update the light here good morning so the lighting glitch is fixed yeah there's some nice ways to get rid of them, but hopefully in the future we will no longer see them at all. Um, yeah, so what I want to do now is uh, I want to improve the delay a bit for the clock and make it a bit longer. <laughs> Whilst we do that, <coughs> we could talk about some of the things that happened at uh, Minecon. Um, first of all, I want to just give a, a, a general overview. Um, mind blown <laughs> you could say i don't think anybody of us came prepared for what happened at the minecon i mean you know we were aware that maybe some people here and there know us and that a lot of people like the minecraft you know and we have some support but we thought okay well we'll just show up and um hopefully some people will show up to our panel and we won't um will be able to to talk to some guys and whatnot, but what happened then was basically Minecraft taking over the Minecon or something, could almost say. 
Um, we got such a friendly reaction by so many people. Like, if you're a regular guy, like, as I'd say all of us are on the server, expect of ESO, who's obviously Jesus Ninja, if you saw the uh, uh, Minecraft panel we also did, um, it just blows you away. You just think, what the heck is going on? Um, so many people supporting us. We've been, um, like, uh, walking around most of the time, um, running into a lot of people, signing interviews, shaking hands, and it partially was almost like you, you, you barely had time um, to spend some time with this person and talk a little bit. It was like signing and, and um, off to the next and totally crazy. I tell you guys, it, it in a good way though, you know, um, it was so overwhelming and so humbling, you know, you look into all these eyes of these people, you know, and, and they say, thanks, dog, and man, you guys are amazing, I love you, ask, can you sign my pickaxe, and what not every guy that has a heart is, is uh, touched by that. It, it totally puts things in a different perspective again. Like, um, I think um, the word humbled has been said many, many times by many of the members of our group, of the Minecraft server guys. Um, for us it was just amazing and I want to really thank you for that, for that much support, you know, it, it, it gives you a good feeling and really encourages you to keep on going, you know, and, and, and keep on playing and loving the game and, and you know why you do it. It's, you know, I don't, like, yeah, it's really hard to express uh, in words uh, what happened there, how what, how great that felt, you know, for us, and really huge, I have to say. Other than that, um, of course, meeting my fellow Minecrackers was huge for me personally, because it is just what it is if you look a person into the eyes and meet Finally, you know, after uh, yeah, many months and maybe years of working together now, it is a huge moment and very, very cool and helps you a lot to gain more respect for your friends and buddies here on the server, even more, you know, not that there was a lack of respect. And, um, yeah, it just, it's just great. <laughs> There's no other way uh, to describe it. You know, it was amazing to meet up with... Good, Bitabs, Kurt, you know, um, Generic, Pyro, all the guys that were there, BTC, you know, and we, we had a chance to talk a lot, to really bond and, and to get to know each other way better and um, really friendships, you know, um, evolved and, and got better and really got closer. Yeah, um, because, yeah, you, you have something, you know, you did together, you have this event now. Uh, which basically blew everybody's socks off, um, especially because of the very, very friendly <coughs> reaction you guys gave us. It was just crazy. Um, the event as such, you know, uh, a lot of people say, oh, this, this organized as usual. Ah, screw that. Maybe there were some small issues with the organization of the event, but that is not, not important at all. Um, if you look at the amazing spirit we had during the Minecon. I mean, yeah, I like this delay way better now. That was the community, you could touch it, you could feel it, you could breathe community at this event. It was really, the Mojangsters were there, of course, you know. Yeah, right, that works. Let's see how the witch behaves. Yep. And of course, you know, we have to be thankful to them putting up the event and all. and But this thing was mainly made and done for the community and by the community. It was just amazing. Seth Bling was all over there um, doing panels left and right. Cube I met. I can, you know, I don't even, like so many guys from the community and then all the fans and friends. It was just uh, pretty, pretty epic. Minecraft is a huge game and the community is amazing. Just can say it over and over again. All right, we see some witches. Yeah. Okay, 
this one started jumping there a bit. It missed the drop, but oh, the spawn rates are definitely good. Really good. They're doing okay. Before I left, I was still not satisfied, but now I'm slowly getting into I'm satisfied mode. If you look at the entity count, we only got a total of 31 at the moment. It's pretty good. That is a good sign. That means um, not too much spawning around us perfectly. Or perfect would be if you have that at zero <laughs> or something, but that's almost impossible. But like this, it's also already picking up. But now you can see it. I'm standing around here for quite a while. And we say pretty l see pretty long breaks in the spawning. And those are the things I have to take care of. And that is best done with caving. Um, but we should travel back. Travel back home. Might put some of the stuff away real quick and visit the Enderman farm so I can get some enchantments going. And also, here a lot of rail I collected by now from the caves that should be almost uh, enough, um, might be enough to connect um, to make a connection from the nether hub to our um, area here. So, let's fix our portal here. Let's travel back real quick. Oh, we need to go deeper. Oh, okay, so I'm, I went to the nether the first time. Amazing. I wonder who made these things in there then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I show you guys? <laughs> Yay! Minecon cave. There's an option to switch it on and off. That's the blue blue minecon cape. Pretty cool. Um, I think I keep it for a while. Um, there's an option to deactivate it if you want to. Pretty cool the blue pickaxe. Sadly, I was not able to make it to the first minecon when it happened. <coughs> um, so I only have this one, but well, better than nothing. Um, ah yeah, there's Mm, yeah. I think we're almost there with the um, tracks we have. Still quite some ways to go. Yeah, but well, that is the last part, um, connecting this place. When I'm done with the caving, I might tackle that. And as, a, as I said before, caving is super stressful now with all the ravines and things. Um, lots to do. Let's quickly get through here. Grab us some diamonds from our stash. And yeah, sand generators are um, fixed again. 1.4.5. It's a bit directional now. You have to flip them around. But there's already other ways to deal with that. But yeah, the sand generator thing, it's not like the most important thing on earth for me at the moment. <coughs> I mean, I got sand and I just made it f mainly for the technical challenge, you know. I'm, it's like if they finally get fixed, I will not like be super mad or sad or whatever. Um, so let's see. Didn't I have some food around this place? Yep, some baked potatoes. That's nice. We can run on that for a bit. And diamonds, 46 diamond ore blocks. Um, let's mine four of them. Always have a look for creepers. None around. It's good. Want to use my epic on that? It has fortune two. Fortune three would be better, but right, that worked. Three, one, one. Come on, two. Seven out of that. Um, I think I want to take nine so I can enchant me three pickaxes. So I have a little storage. Oh, and I've got a lot of ice I grabbed. I think I should bring that over to the ice farm, uh, to the witch farm, <laughs> ice farm. Okay, let's do one more. Perfect, nine. Also found eight or so diamonds over at the witch farm. Yeah, let's bring that over there. 
cool some more iron I can smelt down yeah I transfer some things and I do some enchanting see ya right let's do the first one right definitely something you can live with no problemo keep on going oh one thing I quickly want to mention I just checked uh, Panda's original let's walk back a bit so I said that loud Enderman farm demo video where I showed his invention here with the Enderman grinder it's over 1 million views by now which is really cool <laughs> but I also was reading the comments and I have to say wow I think a lot of people don't know technical Minecraft I see a lot of people going there accusing Panda that it is fake and that it is impossible to make in a survival world and whatnot um, yeah <laughs> there it is so um, if you guys want to help out Panda a bit because I see he's getting some some stress in the comments there always make sure to ever so often check over at this original Enderman farm tutorial I will put the link in the video description and yeah maybe tell some of the people there um, that it's really working because uh, that's the last that Panda deserves you know being um, called a liar or a cheater or whatever because Panda is probably one of the most hardcore survival players out there so yeah I'm gonna enchant two more let's go mm. I like that one a lot fortune 3 pretty cool in general as I said I prefer the ones um, with two enchantments but yeah that is one I can use um, to get a lot of diamonds so that's pretty cool but if I would get unbreaking efficiency 4 all the time would be nice you know you could merge them to uh, break efficiency 5 if you want or just keep them and by fixing them and re-enchanting uh, or renaming better say you can keep them pretty long but that's a nice one let's uh, do the last one where is it here 30 ho oh. okay not complaining at all that was a good run <laughs> Sweet. I think this blue cape, the minecon cape, says good luck. <laughs> Alright, back to the real world. This will also be a good test. Um, see if my bed now works. I had lily pads there last time. I have full blocks that should be working. Slept in the bed several times. Let's hope, let's hope my spawn is not messed up again but should be okay now if you have blocks next to it yeah one one thing that was also really cool at the minecon guys was um, the minecraft podcast we managed to do there beef and badge joined us via skype call and we had dinner bone with us sespling jl2579 aka jl zip code and was just pretty cool you know dinner bone really cool guys very supportive for the let's players aha sweet and he joined us there and yeah was talking to us um, really friendly guy and yeah also you know we had a chance to to discuss about certain aspects of the game and there I really want to give big shout outs to JL um, guys I tell you JL he made he took this event like he inhaled it you know he did all he could he stepped up to Jeb discussed with him like for f several minutes about uh, pros and cons of mob spawning all the aspects of technical Minecraft was just impressive same thing um, he did um, with dinner bone um, he approached him and um, yeah he, he's a smart dude you know um, Chell asked dinner bone okay dinner bone I assume you play Minecraft um, as well a lot right and Dinobon said, of course, for me basically it's a deck Minecraft is running 24-7. Um, because yeah, when I develop and add new things and so on, basically automatically play test it. I put a new thing in, test it out, and he said he mainly plays survival, he likes the survival aspect. So JL immediately says, so okay, you like exploring. How about that? And then he suggested something to him. A really cool idea um, for a new feature in the game um, when it's about unique items because yeah you just saw the saddles 
that's basically what we have in the moment. And there's not more, not that many unique items aside of um, saddles and the records. So he suggested to them, how about that, dinner bone? You uh, put uh, special books in chests all over dungeons, and if you find some of these books, um, you can basically put them in your bookshelves and give special buffs or it, uh, increase enchanting or whatever. And, you know, or this way change the enchanting system to make it more interesting and also encourage exploring. And Dinnerbone really liked the idea and said, man, that's, that's smart. And that is just one example, you know, what you, for the things that are possible if you're at the Minecon. And, yeah, now I am back. Um, luckily, you know, before I left for Minecon, I was in a total Minecraft mood and I was doing quite some caving. Maybe we can, we can check out case with the x-ray let's do that so you can see my progress here let me see yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable here still with the x-ray but it does the trick let's have a quick look so yeah <laughs> lot more caving those are the dungeons over there over there I found a few lots of cave spider spawners and over there, there's a huge ravine I was going into. But still, there's a lot of dark spots, mainly back there. So I have to flip the um, T flip, uh, the T flip flop, the X ray around, maybe put one to the outer edges. But it's pretty cool, you know, how far I came. But still, it's, yeah, it's a lot. I haven't really been to the lower areas. There's, there's a lava pool. I mean, that is fine. I have to check more carefully, also uh, maybe put an um, x-ray further down so I can have a close look. But we're making progress and the spawn rates are picking up as you see. And the beacon um, is also a nice side effect that I can finally get my full beacon um, pyramid together. Right now I'm running on strength because I got the pyramid up to the third level and I think when I'm done cooking up most of the iron here and things, yeah, 17 more blocks, quite a bunch needed. Will take me a little bit, I got some gold. But yeah, when I'm done with the caving, I will for sure be able to have a full buff beacon here. And then I can get another one. Ah, yeah, there's so many things I need to do. Ah, the, like, Minecon made the game even better. If you can, guys, please, please try everything convince your parents you cannot miss the next minecon i'm really looking forward to see you there also looking forward to see you back in the next episode today it was a bit more talky but i wanted to share some of my emotions and things i saw at the minecon if you were there and ran into me awesome you know it was really great meeting you and yeah check out the vlog as i mentioned you can see some of the things that happened i even met DJ Skrillex, we made it into the VIP backstage party. That is another story I have to tell you, JL. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. Um, see you next time. I'm out. Bye bye. Far away.